So here's the truth, guys. Like, there's no such thing as someone being an asshole or someone being a good person, okay? Like, being a good person or being an asshole, it's, it's not who you are. Those are like verbs, all right? And every everyone and everything in existence has the capacity to either be a good person or be an asshole based on the choices they make in any moment, in every moment. So being good is not some thing where you just rest on your laurels like, oh, hey, I, I'm a good person now, so I'll always be good no matter what. And I can just be definitively known as a good person. Okay, that's not what it is. Okay. Every day, people have the opportunity to act good or act like assholes, okay? Every single day. So, the moral is, we're, not de we're never defined by our actions in the past. We're always defined by our actions in this moment and time and going forward, okay? That's, and we're not even defined, yeah, this present moment is what defines us, Okay? You can say legacy of this, legacy of that. It doesn't matter if what your perception of your legacy is, okay? What's important is that you have to work hard every moment of your life to make sure you're being a good person, to be, make sure you're being a better version of you, okay? Because there's no comfort zone in being a good person, okay? There's a comfort zone in being an asshole, if you want to just be an asshole, 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 asshole all day until you realize, oh, maybe I should start trying to be a bit better person. But you're never an asshole. You're never definitively an asshole. Even if you've done the worst, most horrible things that you could ever imagine in the past or whatever, that doesn't define you. That doesn't make you an asshole. Okay? Nothing makes you an asshole. There's no such thing as being a good person. There's no such thing as being an asshole. Understand? Period. Every day you have to strive toward being a better person. You have to put your, put in the work. And you cannot make excuses. And you cannot... You can't make excuses, okay? Always try to find the courage to have culpability for your own actions. Regardless of what you... Why you had to do this or that and the other thing. Okay? Always own up to the fact... All right. And if you've ever hurt in someone, like don't don't apologize until after you have had a change of heart, until after you've already made an effort to be a better person every day and not repeat those mistakes with other people or yourself. After you've actually done that and you've changed your heart and you have put in the work then go apologize to someone if you hurt them. Don't go to apologize to someone until after you put in the work. Like when you deliver an apology, they call it an empty apology. If, if it's just words and you say, I'm sorry, it doesn't mean anything. It really doesn't. But if you fill an apology with actual change of heart, actual change of behavior and actions, then when you go to deliver that apology to the person that you hurt, then it's going to mean something. Because then you're not trying to escape culpability somehow. You really have to face culpability full on, head on, with courage. Okay? And it's not about placing blame on the outside. It's about just being honest about who you are, your feelings, all of that. So just strive for that, you know, like have that courage to strive. Because like I said, there's never a comfort zone in this world or any world when it comes to just being a good person. You know what I mean? And realizing that when you are being a good person, you're affecting other people and other things in a good way. And when you're being an asshole, you're hurting other people and yourself. So... It's a worthwhile pursuit, okay? Always, you know, 
always strive for that, please. Okay, because, you know, we live in this world where people think they can, like, being a good person is just something they can earn once and get a badge and a trophy that says, I am a good person. And just go around and just fucking be an asshole or do whatever they want because they had that good person badge. And it's like, no, no. The good person badge is something you have to earn every second with your actions, okay? So, like, like, do that. Do that because the more you run from culpability, the more you, excuses you make to excuse your behavior, it doesn't matter what your excuse is. Like, and please don't do an empty apology, okay? It's not easy. Trust me, one of the scariest things you'll do in this world is, is owning up to what you've done. But the reason, but not, that's only if you haven't already made the change, right? Like, it's really hard to admit when you've been wrong until you admit it to yourself. You can't go admit it to the person you've wronged until you fi admit it to yourself, okay? Saying sorry, no, 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 no. Saying sorry is a lie until you actually demonstrate that to yourself like don't don't tell someone who you've hurt that you're sorry tell you that you are sorry that you allowed yourself to hurt someone and then do something to change that first and then go apologize okay all the people in my life that i've hurt or i've wronged like i could have went up to them and said i'm sorry right away but i would rather like own up to my shit first and find the courage to say, oh man, I'm a fuck up, man. I have fucking hurt some people through selfish, for selfish reasons. And I have no excuses, you know? And like, cause like I said, there's no such thing as, oh, I'm the, you know, you know, such a great person or I'm an asshole. Like that's always, <laughs> You always got a chance to either be a good person or an asshole with every single fucking thing you do from this moment on. There's no safe, there's no like hitting a plateau where you can just rest and say, oh, well, I don't have to f focus on being good anymore. No, this is work you have to keep putting in, okay? And so just never give up um, and always have patience in yourself. And yeah, don't don't apologize to someone you've hurt until after you... I mean, you can apologize, I guess, in the moment. Like, if you say something immediately, like, oh, I'm sorry. Look, I'm sorry I did that. You know, whatever. But, like, the most heart... Like, the best apologies are the, the most heartfelt ones. And that takes time. That takes change. That takes growth. So that takes a little while before you can apologize, okay? So... Anyways, just remember that, guys. There's no... You cannot judge people based on what they've done in the past. Like, you can't. I know, like, people think that you can do that to people, but you can't. Because then, yeah, you're trying to imprison someone for what they've done in the past. Which is stupid. Because then, then what does that lead to? Um, that, that all that leads to is, oh, I mean, you put someone in a box. How are they going to grow? How are they going to grow bigger? How are they going to learn from their mistakes? How are they going to go on to teach others how to this, that, and the other thing? You know, like this condemnation attitude needs to stop. This whole notion of like, oh, you did this in the past or that in the past? Oh, screw you, blah, blah, blah. Like seriously, guys, like show people the mercy and empathy and respect and infinite second chances that you would want to be shown. Okay, you would never want to be defined by the mistakes you've made in the past. And I can tell you, every single one of us has made mistakes in the past. Okay? So what we wanted to be defined in by is our actions moment by moment. That is what defines us in the moment. We're never defined by what happens in the future or past. It's always the, the present moment. Okay? So try to find some courage to be critical of yourself in a way that you're not trying to escape culpability for your actions or you're not trying to make excuses, okay?
Because like I said, being a good person is an ever expanding adventure. It's not a final destination. Okay. And so I just want you guys to know, I love you. And I believe in all of you. Okay. I would never say, oh, you're a good person or you're an asshole. Okay. I would say, wow, you got a lot of courage and you've been through uh, so much different things. And like, I'm so proud of all of you, like on your journeys. Okay. Like that's what matters at the end of the day. All right. And like, yeah, if you are not willing to like accept accountability for yourself in your own actions and how they affect others, like that's a film that's a that's a form of self hate so it's uh it's, uh, it's uh, abusive towards yourself um because you can't do that like please i know it can seem scary at first but yeah try to try to start taking accountability for your actions okay and how they affect other people but like i said yeah try not to give a whole apology until you've actually put in some effort okay you've put in some effort you know i had to learn this the hard way okay many mistakes i've made many 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 and i thought i could just rest on my laurels well i'm a good person because of this this and this and you could you could save the entire multiverse man and that doesn't make you a good person Okay, what makes you a good person is how you treat people moment by moment. How you recognize, oh shit, I'm a shitty person because I, or you're not a shitty person, but how I just acted was really shitty and was out of character, you know? Like that's what's important is, and that's why we make mistakes. We don't, we, you know, that's the nature of making mistakes is to, so that we hopefully will learn and some so others will learn as well. So we'll all stop making so many mistakes. All right, but it's really, yeah, it's, you know, so it's about treating each other better. So I just want to let you know that this is a never ending journey toward being good people, you know, and better. You know, when I say people, I mean everything. I'm talking to the birds, the bees, the trees, the AIs, the NPCs, whatever. Okay, like we always have to strive to be better, not as perfectionists, but just because we care about ourselves and, and the people we affect, the things that we affect. And we affect all everything. We affect, you know? So be a good effect. Show what kind of good effect you can have. And that starts inside. That starts with changing your heart. Okay? And forgiving, forgiving yourself and for, for, forgiving, like, others. And it's not about a get out of jail free card. There's no get out of jail free card. Oh, I can just get out of like culpability for my actions and how they affect others. There's no get out of jail free card. You know, like when you run from accountability, that's what puts you into a jail, a jail inside of your own heart where you're not allowed to fly freely. To the, de to the heights that you could, if you would face that with courage. And I know it hurts to like admit that you've done something wrong or to apologize and to change. So it's like, it's hard, but what in life, you know, like the, a lot of things in life, some of the most beautiful things in life are hard, okay? They're, they're difficult, it's not just easy. Okay, so it's worth it to put in that little bit of energy it takes to like keep yourself on your toes because you owe it to yourself and you owe it to the people you interact with, the ones around you, your environment, you know, like it, it comes down to every choice we make or don't make. Okay, so it's not that we're good or evil based on our choices, but it's the world. The world itself becomes good or evil based on all of our collective choices that we make as individuals. So let's try to at least make an effort to be courageous enough to, to grow in a good direction. And you cannot grow at all if you don't see where there's room to grow, okay? Like in order to grow, you first have to see that there is room to grow. 
and to give room to grow, okay? When you close yourself off from accountability, it's like trying to grow a tree inside of a closed box with no sunlight, okay? And until you face the music and open up, take accountability and open up the roof of that box and let the sun shine down on that tree, it's not going to grow. Okay, so let's try to find the courage to be better every moment of every day. And let's try to inspire each other to have that courage too. Nobody's perfect and they never will be. Okay, so please just strive to be better every day if you can, because there's always room to grow. Okay, so never forget that because it's important. Okay, at the end of the day, accountability is an act of self-love. It's not just about like paying, uh, you know, it's not just about like apologizing to the people you've hurt. But it's about actually like making progress. So anyway, that's the end of my message. I hope you all had a beautiful day today. And I hope every day will be beautiful forever. I'm your friend forever, Evan LeFevre. And I'm no, I'm no perfect person. I made a lot of mistakes. And not just because I was trying to hide who I am or this or that. There's no excuses. There's no excuses. You always got to own up to accountability, okay? And I'm trying to find the courage inside myself to do that. So I'm nowhere, I'm nowhere near that. I'm working on it every day, every day. Because it doesn't matter what I or anybody else have done in the past, whether it's good or bad, I constantly have to work toward being a good person, just like everybody else. Okay, it's a constant struggle. And it's not just so much of a struggle, but it's something that gets easier to do. The more, the quicker you are to be, you know, willing to change and willing to accept what you need to change. Okay? So anyway, y'all, I hope you have a beautiful, you know what I'm saying? And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.